pending legislation in the state Senate, you may soon be able to use a stun gun as a form of self-defense. A new study out of MSU, however, shows they can also be very dangerous. Researchers found people were injured 41% of the time when cops used a stun gun compared to 29% when no stun gun was used. More than 11,000 law enforcement agencies around the U.S. use that controversial weapon. A different study out of MSU found officers using stun guns are injured 5% of the time, compared to those who didn't use them injured 10% of the time. The study's lead researcher says police agencies sh should balance the findings and figure out if the trade-off is really worth it. Senator Rick Jones has said that carrying a taser is a safe way for someone to protect themselves. And to prove his point, he took a shot from a taser in 2008.